Can you feel this? Yeah. You are a lover of comedy movies and you want to have a good laugh, just spend some time while away, you definitely should see Upside. So Upside is just telling us about how someone meets another guy through a difficult situation and then it turns out nice and then this person becomes his best friend. You are welcome to The Real As Usual. My name is Linda and I'll be taking you through a Hollywood movie called Offside. Stay tuned. I need assistance. Wait, don't your arms work? They don't. You can move your mouth. As can you. So Welcome back to The Real. As usual, I'll be telling you if you should watch or not watch the latest movie happening in the cinema. As I said earlier, this week I'll be talking about a very exciting movie from Kevin Hart called The Upside. Quite difficult to predict what this movie is going to be about based on the title, but it turned out to be really interesting. So if you've been following through with Kevin Hart every new, uh, every year, he comes out with a very nice, good comedy movie. Normally, he's always with John Dwenson, but this time around, he was with Cranston. I was kind of worried if it was going to be interesting, but they surpassed my expectations. It was, of course, nothing very serious, no outstanding storyline, but as usual, you know, the normal jokes, cracks, and everything around making you have a good laugh. That was just really what this movie was about. You need to prove you're looking for work. Yeah, I've been looking, trust me. Three signatures by tomorrow, or you can tell it to the judge. Tell me about a time when you worked hard to solve a problem. This morning, getting up. We're gonna find you someone you like. Let me be your arms and your legs. I love that. This movie um, was produced by Neil Burger, the same guy who produced Untouchable in 2011. Kind of almost the same storyline, but a little twist around it. I'll just tell you a bit about the movie. So, Upside um, started with Kevin, who had spent a few years in jail. You know, was let out, was meant to make sure he stayed clean or else he would go back. He was asked to find a job and he really just wanted someone to sign for, not technically because he wanted to work. But luckily, Neil um, called Phil in the movie, you know, took pity on, on Kevin this time around and decided to help him and give him the job. This job was very difficult. So this time around, Kevin was meant to act as a caregiver to Phil, make sure he's there every time, 24-7 pick his calls, make sure he have his bath, he feed him. He was virtually doing everything for him. He had no single experience. I liked the way Kevin had to make fun of the job and make the best out of it because he needed the money for his son and his daughter, um, his son and his wife. He apparently didn't want to fail them, so he tried. All right. Penthouse. You need to wait your turn. Relax, it's not a hold up. Just sign this one, please. How would I sign it? I don't know, slowly. You can move your mouth. As can you. I need assistance. How much does it pay? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's my bad, my bad, man. You know, with experience and with time, Kevin and Phil became best of friends. He, he made him feel better, you know, taking him out, taking him to places he never dreamt that he would ever go to. And I really, really loved the end of the movie. You are not qualified for this position. The buckle, buckle! Have you ever changed a catheter? No. Pinch the head. Now, it was quite difficult to predict if it was going to go well or not, but the twist at the end with Phil finding his love and Kevin finding his way back to his family, of course, the usual happy ending, made me feel better. Don't quote me, but I felt better. To my verdict, I would easily give this movie an 8 over 10. Mm. I can't feel it. Oh, well, I can. You want to feed your soul? Then listen to its clean. Think, think, think about what you're trying to do to me. It's amazing, ain't it? I sound just like it. Yeah, it's uncanny. You better think, think, he was Richard Jay Z? No, Richard. Which car is yours? All of these to the right. Oh, my God. They're not practical. Exactly. You can have any girl you want. What about this lady with all the bow ties? Why I liked the story a bit, even though it wasn't so serious. Of course, the comedy drama. I liked the twist. It wasn't too long, about 118 minutes as usual long. I liked the production and cinematography. Just a few sides. I felt some of the things were extremely outstretched. Like, it shouldn't have dragged for so long. You could actually finish those things in a shorter number of minutes and just get it over and done with. But the fact that it ended well, of course, was really fantastic. So if you haven't seen Upside, make sure you do see it. 
it's not highly recommended but it's recommended for me if you want to have a good laugh no serious thinking or thrill or suspense definitely upside would be a good movie for you to actually just see and relax as usual i will always make sure i tell you to subscribe to our channel which is a business day on youtube make sure you do follow us across social media handles you do stand a chance of winning a free movie ticket as always every week we do that and stay tuned to the real always so every week on the real i linda will bring it to you movies latest in the cinemas telling you if you should watch or pass have a nice day